you thieving bastards. We're going to do it a little differently, dude. Do it in front of the artwork this time, dude. You filthy motherfucker, dude. Okay, dude. The Border Patrol goes for a strap the other day. And I'm like, go ahead, bitch. Bulletproof. Hey. No, dude. I was involved in a traffic dispute, right? Like, big surprise there, right? Like, El Joe was yelling at another motorist. Not you. Yeah, dude. It's true. It was me. Okay. I'm like, I'm wearing a bulletproof vest, bitch. Oh, yeah. So this guy comes over, dude, and I'm thinking about it. I'm like, bulletproof vest? Like, I need a butt fuck proof vest, dude. Fuck. Then I'd really be golden. If you had a butt puck <laughs> proof vest. <laughs> now what? <laughs> For real, dude. Fuck. You know what I mean? Like, dude, I looked down, though. And it wasn't a border patrol, it was a rent-a-cop, dude, because the Honduran thing is is going on. So I was like, yeah, the Honduran thing and my fucking gigantic bunions out of control. Let's just not get off the subject. This is my Hudson Icon vest, dude. The real McGillicuddy, that's for my birthday. But anyway, so I looked down. I'm like, yeah, bulletproof vest, dude. Like, oh, wait, I need a butt fuck proof vest. That'd be fun. Oh, wait, what? I'm like, dealing with this fucking worm. And I look down, and I'm like, dude, it was a rent-a-cop because the Honduran shit's going on. So they're, like, hiring ec extra help. You know what I mean? This guy's not a border patrol. He's just a fucking security guard, and they're doing construction. So they have the security guards to make sure that nobody's walking through the construction zone. Okay? And I was like... Bro, you're not even a real fucking cop, dude. He tells me, don't say the F word. I'm like, you're not even a real fucking cop. He's like, first of all, don't say the F word in here. I'm like, Shh. first of all, bro, don't ever tell somebody with Tourette's, okay, not to say the F word. Definitely don't tell anybody psychotic. You shouldn't be telling them anything, right? But apparently people haven't got it. Everybody in the world knows, but I think Americans haven't got it yet because they have the ability to sit in comfort so you're not forced to go outside your comfort zone and deal with half of these momos. And like now that in the pandemic, we're all like, whoa, figuring it out. Like, wow, people aren't that nice. Yeah. And I have nothing against rent cops dude, because first of all, that'd be an awesome job, dude. Okay. I would love to have that job. If I had a fucking cleaner record, bro. Tack vest, straight up taser and shit, dude. Be fuck. I'd be like, this is my mall, bitch. Now what? Fuck, awesome job, dude. This guy was not that dude though. This guy was a fucking chachi. Oh yeah, and he called me homie, and he, and he said, if you want to get crazy, I'll take you up there. We could really see homie. And I said, first of all, I'm not your homie, bro. And second of all, you have to have a rule of law. This is not my first rodeo, unlike you. And he's like, how do you know that? I said, well, first of all, because you're using the words homie and like, see those other guys over there that are just like watching from afar? Because I know, dude, it's a non-issue. You're being very unprofessional. He's like, yeah, but you're saying bad words too. I'm like, yeah, but I'm not the professional. <laughs> you're the professional. I'm just some dumb fucking momo. Fuck, dude. Crazy. Motorists yelling at each other. So, you can't say the F word, right? You can't say the F word. And, oh yeah, I also realized, because I'm like, dude, your fucking taser darts are just going to fucking bounce off of this thing. You know what I mean? And I was like, oh, you didn't get the drop-down dick protector, dude. You know what I mean? There's a drop-down dick protector right here. I'm like, fuck, dude. Tammy fucking showed me the error of my ways in that one. She, I was like, look, my new vest. Oh my God, I got it. It finally came. It's like, fuck that vest, dude. I'll shoot you in the fucking face. I'll shoot you in the dick. I was like, oh, fuck. You should have got the dick protector. You're right, dude. <sighs> FYI, dude, for your information, like, no extra charge, just passing this along, you can thank me later. But apparently, 
ringworm cream works for hunter and crotch rot also dude which is cool because it's only like two or three bucks for the cream not not the crotch rot the crotch rot's free just kidding so that was a joke oh dude you guys want to hear something crazy that happened speaking of jokes dude they put on all these new devices at the border, and it looks like it's some sort of scanning device. It's crazy, dude. It's like, what is that? And they're all in the traffic. I think that they're for picking up signatures on cell phones and monitoring people based on banter, rhetoric, keywords, algorithms. Because, man, the dude was working in the kiosk, we had passed those things. I was like three or four cars from the five cars from the border patrol guy in his little kiosk. And he looked down and then he looked back up at the line and he looked down again and he either had it in his hand or he picked something up, but he definitely got something, a little black device, looked like a, you know, could have been a cell phone or anything and walked straight over and he's looking down at the vice and looking back up and he singled out two cars, me and the, me on the motorcycle and the guy behind me. And he looked at the vice again and then he came over to me and he goes, hey man, have you been to the hospital in the last 24 hours? He had like a confused look on his face too the whole time, like a, what, what is it? And I was like, no. And he's like, is your son always with you? Is he ride with you every day? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, okay. Oh, and then he took that device and he went boop, 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 boop. Oh, and then went to the car behind me. And, and, and I didn't even hear him ask them anything or nothing. I think he swiped him. I was like, whoa, weird, man. I think they are it's just something to, to think about, you guys. I, you know what I mean? Like this, this social, uh, I'm trying to think of the right words. It's called the... Um, the so I'll do the floss too, you guys. I'll show you how to do it. A social rating system or something. It's like a, where you rate from the first person to the last person in society. And, you know, I guess based on those algorithms and shit. Dude, they're monitoring people, dude. They could come and, and, and I don't know, man. You, you just... It goes to show you, don't give them any fuel for the fire, man. Because I was seeing a couple politicians, a couple people. Who was it the other day that was saying, like, man, I, they set me up, dude. You know, Marion Berry says that for sure. And they and, and, and said that that crack that they gave him, they tested 99% pure. When has anybody ever had that ever? Okay? He said they was trying to kill him, man. And the FBI did have that set up. They brought the crack. Gave it to that chick to fuck it. And they had the cameras. And you can Google it and go, look, all that footage is, you could see the footage. Like they, they, they called him to come and the lady said, here. He said he didn't even know what was in it. She was like, here, how's this? And he was like, well, yeah, you know, it's whatever. I'm trying to get my dick sucked. Whatever I got to do to get my dick sucked. That, his words, dude. And it said that shit almost killed his motherfucking ass. And they had an ambulance on standby. And he asked them what that was for, you know, when they were arresting him in the aftermath and everything. And they were like, oh, we were making sure he didn't have a heart attack. I was like, what? Why would I have a heart attack? You mean? They gave, I mean, that's what they say, but I'm just saying, like, you know what I mean? You got to keep your nose clean, dude, because they may be looking, bro. That man came out of his little booth with looking, bro. And he singled it down to two cars. Crazy. I know I have a decent social rating system. position or something because they always let me go and I never get pulled into secondary and I could have anything on me dude at any given moment I never I never do so that's how I know in retrospect I need the dip protector dude in case you were wondering dude why Eljo has five different hairdos going on it's because I do my hair myself and I have five different personalities. So everybody has their own idea of what to go. Like it works. It fucking works. You know what I mean? So, uh, hey man, 
If you don't like it, you could fucking move on to Sesame Street right next to Oscar the Grouch, except you could be Oscar the Bitch, dude. We'll get you a pink trash can and everything. What? That's your new name, Oscar the Bitch, dude. Because you're just fucking weird, dude. Just so you know, too, I never check my emails unless somebody that I've never met before says, hey, I want to fuck with you. And I say, okay, here's my email because that way, in case you're a weirdo or have some other purpose or you're catfishing me to hurt me in a kind of way, you're highly limited. So, um, you know, because I did see something from Fag City and I didn't even open it or nothing. I was just looking for something from somebody else and I was like, huh, oh yeah, okay. trash. So I never, I just have no idea, dude. But I'm, you know, it's cool that your butt buddy said how fucking cool of a person I was despite everything that happened. I'm sure that just rubbed you. <laughs> like, but rubbed you a lot fucking nicer than I would, bro. Like, well, I should say. <laughs> I don't say anything. How about that, dude? Me not saying anything will hopefully say it all. The look on your face will say it all, dude. Dude, check this out, bro. You know you're getting your subscriptions worth, too, motherfuckers. Because I've had quite a few people like, oh, my God, I had a dream. I'm like, who does that, dude? Who does that? Nobody you're fucking subscribed to does that, dude. You know what I mean? You're getting your subscriptions worth, man. I mean, that's the kind of motherfucker I am for you, people. Because you know what, dude? This is what I've learned, too. Subscribers are like content, dude. Meaning you could have a lot of subscribers... Like, well, hold on. you could have a lot of content, okay? Like, I know people that have streams. They live stream. And if nobody's in the chat, nothing interesting is going on, you're watching an hour and a half of them breathe. You know what I mean? Or read the comments that everybody could see and is conversing. And it's like, you know, that's an example of, you know, like, I ha you only have 70 videos, Ultra. I have 300. It's like, yeah, you have 300 videos of you breathing air, reading a comment. You know, like, like, like a, a very highly limited banter. You know what I mean? Like, so subscribers are the same thing. Like I got 2000 subscribers. Yeah, but they're all fucking lame momos, dude. You know what I mean? That support some very fucking heinous shit, dude. There's some people that openly support some very heinous shit, or at least they won't acknowledge or take a stand for some very heinous shit. So like, I'm glad those people aren't subscribed to me because those people are not worth a shit, dude. I got people that are the same people from before when my original channel got fucking erased that are here now and none of them are fucked, dude. Everybody's cool. Everybody fucking leaves the coolest comments. They're, I go check out their channels and people are into the coolest shit. They're scraper cars, dude. That's how I found out about Yellow Wolf, dude. But that, dude, that motherfucker is gonna get a Grammy, dog. That Caskey album... That shit is gonna do. Go look at that purple Dotson, dude. That's the kind of song I know that they made that song with the intention of like, we want to make a song that motherfuckers will want to play when they're murdering somebody, dude. We want like a murder to a song you would murder somebody to. Go listen to that purple Dotson, dude. Yellow Wolf and Caskey. They're gonna win a Grammy for that shit, dude. Not because the Grammy people know what's up, but because the record sales know what's up. And I wouldn't have known about it. I like guy kind of looks like Jeffrey Dahmer a little bit, dude. He likes those Jeffrey Dahmer style glasses, dude, from the 80s for sure. The clear framed ones. And he has bangs, bro, but like small ones. And he's got a tat he got a tattoo of some cursive writing right here on the top of his forehead, which looks like super short bangs with Jeffrey Dahmer glasses on, dude. And he's killing it. So I never would have known about that, dude. You know what I mean? If it wasn't for my subscribers, bro. Or scrapers. Somebody was showing me like some scraper fucking mini trucks, dude. And I was like, what? My subscribers are the coolest motherfuckers, dude. Facts. This is a channel for cool people, dude. Fucking facts, dude. So you could take a trash can, paint it pink, and move in next door to Oscar the bitch, dude. And go over there with that fucking Momo.
dude, you know what? I'll tell you what. You know what? The, you know what that motherfucker needs? I'm gonna get a jizz vest for you, bro. Huh? How about that? I'm gonna get a jizz proof vest, and I'm gonna fucking put it on you and stand there like this. Ha 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 ha! Now you're trapped in your own worst nightmare, Slab City News. You'd be like, oh my god, you gotta put a padlock on it so he can't get it off. He's like, oh my god, I'm trapped in a comfort vest. I'm in a living hell. Next to Oscar the Grouch. They swatted my trash can the other day. They were screaming, Oscar the bitch, Oscar the bitch, Oscar the bitch. Actually, dude, <laughs> that's a good fucking. Oh, get the tattoo, dog. Definitely get the fucking tattoo, dude. The, 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 the droplets right here. Like gangsters will get the ones right here. You get the one right there. Get the tattoo, fool. I'm going to do the fucking floss, dude. Watch. Oh, here we go. Do you like my fucking cool racing flag pants? Okay, here's a, here it is, guys. Really fucking easy. The floss is all about moving your hips. Side to side. Oh, wait, dude, you know what? I, dude, you want to shoot me right now. You want to shoot me right now, but you can't. <laughs> dude, you move your hips side to side like this. It's really fucking easy, dude. Two motions. This one. And... This one. Okay? Okay, you're doing that and this at the same time. Now, hint. When your hips go this way, your arms go this way. So it should be the opposite. Get it? So get these moving. Okay, get these moving. Woo! Woo! See? Opposite. Just get them moving. And then go opposite. Hey, that's all for now, dude. Like, subscribe, most importantly, hold on, first of all, dude, what I said about the subscribers is facts. If you guys are looking for these, it's called Hudson Icons Vest. Hudson is a designer, I believe. Icon is a company that makes motorcycle shit. So it was ingenious of the designer, like, oh, we'll just design a bullet vest for fashion. They have them in all colors, dude, every color of the rainbow and fluorescent ones, okay? And we'll run it through the motorcycle place as a partnership to do the manufacturing since they're already set up for the manufacturing. So I think that's how Icon got involved. But um, I'm gonna just to let me tell you though, when you get the icon vest, just know, come here, baby dabs. You guys want to see baby dabs? Baby dabs. Oh, shit. Everybody's coming. Say hi, Puff Puff. That's Princess Puff Puff. Um, buy vests that are designed by tacticians, dude. Okay, military tacticians, because they have service loops on them and those pockets and those things that will hold clips that will hold things you know uh climbing clips carabiners or you can usually just put the stuff in it dude i've had like oh here, like knives guns and stuff like you know there's a gun pouch on the other tack vest and it's like wow here okay fucking news flash dude call the fucking local news it's a huge breaking story people that wear bulletproof vests will most definitely fuck with weapons and have weapons in their life. Oh my shit! Can you believe it? Whoa, dude. I got a butt fuck vest.
<laughs> what was that? Yes. Hey, wow, yeah, big fucking news flash. So look, there's nowhere to put anything on this, dude. So because it was designed by a designer, not a tactician. A tactician is like, fuck, I gotta have somewhere to put my knife. I need the fucking tool, you know, the, the lineman tool. You know what I'm saying? A fucking, at least a carabiner with keys. Like they all have loops right here. And, and the Velcro, you know, there's usually lines that straps at every inch and a half. It's sewn so that you can put things in it. I see the Border Patrol keeps zip ties in there, which would be like, oh, it's like, Zip tying people up, dude, in the fucking trap, dude. I was like, oh my god, boom. Gracias. Gracias, California Border Patrol. And that was a chick, too, dude. She was the only one that had them. So I'm looking around, I'm like, wow, dude, this chick's a fucking beast, dude. That, that's what's up, dude. Hey, the, dude, the most important thing is that if you find any beasties, bro, you're gonna get fucking cock blocked, fucking major, right? And, and you're going to shoot your big mouth off about it with no fucking dick protector. Hey, dude. Like, subscribe. Stay fucking golden. Yeah, you can put me in a piss vest, fucking idiot.